And the first of those is Dr Ian Yeoman. And uh, Ian is, I think that's the right order. Is that the right order? Is that the order? Yes. And uh, Ian is, is uh, described in your, in your paperwork in the, in, the, in the one sentence line that is all I'll use to introduce him as well, as the world's only professional futurologist dedicated to specialising in travel and tourism. So at that point, I'll ask uh, Ian to say a few words. Good morning. Ten minutes. Hello. Ten minutes. OK. Um, what I'm going to, we've heard a lot today about how the world is going to change in the terms of technology. And that one thing it is certain, like, like, like birth and death, technology is going to cha change the consumer and what the consumer is doing. That's without doubt. So what I'm going to talk about is the consumer transformation and how it's affecting business, both in the future and now. So it's from a consumer perspective. So we've got this consumer that's playing with his tablet or his mobile phone or, or his Game Boy or, what, or his Space Invaders, etc., etc. So what is this consumer like? Well, this is the consumer today in the terms of the digital revolution. How is that consumer change in the terms of, for example, play and experience and entertainment? Well, that consumer today has, is, has transformed themselves very much the inner network society which is already being dealt with. We're, we're so connected with everybody else. Your typical son or daughter has more friends on Facebook that they have not met. They talk to people, they, they don't talk to people like in the street. You know, they tell all of that information. Today's consumer, they don't like to be bored. Boredom is a thing of the past. If we are bored, we play online. We play with our smartphone. We're never bored today in the terms of leisure activity. We don't stop. We are, that consumer is constantly doing something to entertainment. So boredom is a thing of the past. That consumer as well works in a world of immediacy. Dial-up is a thing of the past. It's all about nanoseconds. And as consumers work in this world of immediacy, they're extremely demanding. And that consumer lives on the hoof. It's, a, it's mobile living. They live life through the mobile. It never stops. It's an extension of them. And also that consumer maximizes their behavior. They like to do things in their off time. Consumers, when they go on holiday, and I'm in tourism, the number one activity on holiday is doing work. <laughs> we all check mobiles. My brother-in-law, Stuart, his wife banned his BlackBerry from the bedroom. It was that bad, because he works for a Korean company. He's in the UK, and he used to get all of these emails at 10 o'clock at night. We check emails and communicate on holiday. And we feel like if we haven't checked our emails on a daily basis, we start to get withdrawal symptoms. So it's changed consumer behavior and how we live and what we do. So it, there's been a digital revolution. And it's changed what businesses do. If it's, he's just two examples. He's a Mexican football team. You know, I'm a fan of the Phoenix and Sunderland AFC. We beat Arsenal at the weekend. Just wanted to mention that. <laughs> but today, um, the, Jag the Jaguars in Mexico, who play in the Mexican Premier League, the football players do not have the name on their back. They have their Twitter tag. So people can start a conversation and support that player and follow that play. That's all about conversations. And the same with Burberry, big fashion house. It's all about engagement and talking to people. Taking it one stage further, argumented reality, virtual fashion shows. So what's that message mean? Well, many of the speakers have talked about it. If you're a business today, you have to engage with consumers in real time and talk to them. The model of advertising has completely changed. Why? Well, it's all about this. Web metrics has changed. The internet, the tablet, the mobile phone has changed the business model. They know everything about you. It's a customization model of one-to-one. -one. Every time you use your smartphone, go onto Facebook, buy something, you're giving information to a business to tell you something about me and how I behave. 
So marketing and advertising, like some futurists, including me, about 20 year, 10 years ago, since it's the end of branding and marketing, it's actually gone the other way. We live in a world today of one-to-one -one advertising. And it's changing all business models. It's changing the business model of birth, death, and everything in between. So, for example, in the future, if we look at the business of death, because we know so much about people today, just before you have a heart attack, etc., 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 and you will normally dial 111, well, that won't happen in the future. Because today, we, because today we have applications on your smartphone which will tell you when you're about to have a heart attack and will automatically ring for the free ambulance and it will turn up because it will know where you are and when you're going to die. <laughs> so that's just an example of the business transformation and the consumer. Thank you.